Joe, we have to do something cute for this for this first part. Did it. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Joanna Responds. I feel like I look like a Carson Daly with this. This is what I would be if I was a 90s white female rapper. You are Ready? 90s Iggy. I'm feminine. I'm gonna be reading my response today, uh, cause you know, I'm a 90s white female rapper. This you is are getting doing weird. Woody Allen at this <laughs> point. Recently, we talked about beauty standards and which beauty standards you think that we should abolish. There were a lot. Hey, now here, take the comments. Take the comments. I'm so, I'm so tired. Oh, please get it. Oh my god, god. Mr. Chow, circumcision. It's expected in the US, and when you don't have it, it's like you have a deformity. Like, fam, it's all natural. I don't know, I'm weirded out by it. You're weirded <laughs> out by circumcision? I'm weirded out by talking about circumcision. I'm a Jew. So, like, yeah, you get circumcised if you're a boy. But it's also like a huge celebration. I don't think this should be in the video. <laughs> you specifically said in your video you didn't understand guy beauty standards. I guess and you're so. One. Yeah, no, I guess you're right. I guess that's me being kind of sexist. Like, I, I, for some reason, I think that men should be circumcised, and that's not fair to men. It's a, a good question. I don't know, Mr. Chow. But maybe you're right, you know? Also, what is fam? Samo Big says, in my country, the beauty standard is to be big, I mean fat, so girls take all kinds of medication, go to fat camp to gain weight. I think it's just so interesting how being thin and being fat are two things that are pressured on people rather than you just being your natural self. Totally. Like for example, I wore makeup today. I think that it's ridiculous women have to wear makeup just to be people. And here I am, I'm wearing makeup. I have a body I would describe as... Dad bod. Garbage. <laughs> like, if I tucked in a shirt, everyone thinks I'm sexy today. Yeah, I can try to look good, I brush my hair, I wear a little makeup, and someone on YouTube will always say I'm ugly. Don't worry though, there is also a Chris has the sexiest voice comment in there, but I didn't make you mention it. You just mentioned it so that you put it uh, in the It was submitted by Nagi Blavis. Yeah, no, you know who said it. I'm, am I the only one who thinks Chris has the sexiest voice? Yeah. Are you happy now? That's Ooh, not, yes. That's not how you sound like Chris. Would I sound better if I... Talk I kinda go like this sometimes! <laughs> Hurt Nicks. You just said the best comment I think I've ever seen. Who needs beauty when you can go catch Pokemon? A Pokemon. No, he wrote it men, Pokemon. How many breaks have you taken from work to go do laps around and catch Pokemon? Like two to three a day. <laughs> there's a Shake Shack in front of the office and I wait till there's a lure module on it and then I go and I sit there for like a good 10 minutes. Here's a fun fact about me that not a lot of people know. I was a huge Pokemon fan. I had a binder full of Pokemon cards. I had a Charizard. Charizard. El Morenito says, being short and fat in the gay community, I may as well be invisible. You're not invisible because you know what is super hot? Being cool and nice and dope. That's the sexiest thing you can be, so. You're there. I mean, we just only have this one comment. I don't know you. you personally, but I'm assuming you are because you watch my videos. That is a very conceited statement if I ever heard it. We also recently talked about English and Spanish cursing, which is my fucking favorite tema. My brain did stop working in English. <laughs> eh. Oh no, don't do this to me. Are you kidding me right now? What? How many people said, Joanna, you're a pussy on this? A lot more than those two pages. Joanna, you're the best. Love all your vid. Also, you're a pussy. Joanna, you're a pussy. Joanna is such an amazing pussy. Joanna, you're such a cool pussy. Joanna, you're a pussy and that is good. <laughs> Here's the real comments. Oh, this was just for you? <laughs> this is the third time you make me do that. Sorry. Mauricio Cruz Ramirez says, In Colombia, gonorrhea is an insult. But why? Okay, is an ugly STD, but why not chlamydia or herpes or hepatitis B? Why is gonorrhea so special? My boyfriend is from Colombia. He doesn't say gonorrhea, but a lot of his friends, when they're talking to each other, lovingly call each other gonorrhea. I'm gonna Google gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a gross one. Gonorrhea. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! I did warn you it's a gross one. Oh god! Oh! Why would you call your friend that? Chris, you're such a gonorrhea. What did I do? I play one joke on you You today. are chlamydia. At the very least, I'm syphilis because I make you go crazy after a while. Syphilis make you go crazy? Dylan Nguyen says, example for new curse. I trump you, you trump. 
Wouldn't it be great if the word Trump had to be bleeped because it became such a like bad word? I can't believe this Trumping computer isn't Trumping listening to me. It's so Trumping Trump. Martina Musso says, as an Uruguayan, the way you say Uruguay made me cringe. <laughs> Uruguay, Uruguay. I mean, we have a Uruguayan in the house. Should I ask him? If you want to have him clarify how to say it. Juan, I got this comment. As an Uruguayan, the way you said Uruguay made me cringe. How do you say it? Uruguay? Uruguay. Mm, that's not it. How do you say it? In, in uh, English. If I, I want it. Americans to understand it, yeah. I say Uruguay. Uruguay? <laughs> Uruguay. 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 Yeah. Uruguay. Without the shouting. Okay, Wait. Uruguay. Okay, you're not mad at the country. Uruguay. You're not, why are you mad at Uruguay? Uruguay. Okay, great. Yeah. Uruguay. Uruguay. Fucking forgot. Bye. Sorry. See you, Juan. Thank you so much for your comments, everybody. I hope you enjoy my robe. I am so freaking comfortable right now. I wish I was going home to sleep, but instead I have to go work now. Joanna, say goodbye to everybody. Bye. We'll see ya.